this is Jose with StampingDough.com and welcome to this week's Stamping 411 video. So we are still on the Butterfly Gala stamp set and you might have noticed this week that I actually posted more cards than just my Friday card with the Butterfly Gala because I am absolutely in love with this stamp set. So let's get started. So for this card we're using the Pool Party cardstock. And this one is cut to five and a half by eight and a half. And then we're gonna score it at four and a quarter. And then I'm using Calypso Coral, which is cut to four by five and a quarter. We have a Whisper White piece of cardstock, which is two and three quarters by two and three quarters. And then we have a coordinating um, sized square from the Layering Squares Framelits, which fits just perfectly on that size. And then I have this beautiful designer series paper that I have shown you that you can get for free. And that one is cut to one and a half by five and a quarter. We're gonna use this checkered side, but this is what the other side looks like if you didn't remember from what I showed you last week. But I love this side and it's gonna go perfectly with our card. So we're gonna start with folding our card as always and using, where's my bone folder? Right here. My bone folder. And you can see that I've already pre-cut and pre-embossed some of my pieces. So this piece here was put through the big shot already using our Suttles um, embossing folder. This is probably my favorite one as far as versatility goes just because it just has that very, very subtle pattern and it just makes a flat cardstock like this have a little bit of texture. And it just adds that extra little something. So if you have the Big Shot and you are looking for patterns, I definitely suggest getting this Settles one. It is just so nice. Okay, so I took that. We're going to take some snail adhesive and just adhere that designer paper. And then we're going to use some of the ribbon. Now this ribbon here has really, really pretty shimmer to it. So it has kind of like a little sparkle to it. Hopefully you can see that. And we're going to take a piece that's just a tad longer than our cardstock, like that. And then we're going to need another piece that we're going to use to tie just a little faux bow with. So we're going to take this first piece Add a little bit of glue adhesive to the back and then I want that pretty centered so I'm gonna center that right about there and there and then we're going to take this separate little piece and we want that to be on the right hand side and we're just tying a little knot like this and then we're just going to clean up our edges so we're just going to cut each side so that it looks a little prettier and has those nice points to it like that all right so now that i have that done i can actually put that directly onto my card and just add a fair bit of adhesive i have it why not use it and then we're just gonna place that. Aren't those colors together nice? I actually really like them together. So Pool Party and Calypso Coral. And that black just pops right on there. Okay, so we're gonna take our Whisper White. Now, for this one here, I'm using the long stamp that has the greeting on it and it says, you've been on my mind. We're going to use it with our Memento Black ink. Now this is where, okay, you have to be fairly good at lining up. So take your time and ink it up with the Memento ink. Okay. And then we're going to go to the bottom right of that square. Press it down. Make sure it's nicely pressed into the middle like that. Then you're going to turn a quarter turn and you're going to do that on all four sides. So it just kind of adds a fun little border to that Whisper White. So side three. And my Memento ink is kind of wet, so I'm making sure that I don't stick my fingers onto the greeting. 
because I know me, see I already have some ink on me, I'm going to smear it. So make sure you set that aside for a couple minutes. And I'm going to take one of my scrap pieces and I pick this butterfly here, so it has the double butterfly always, but I only need the big one for this. So I'm gonna take my Memento ink again, ink that up really nicely. And I always look on the back just to make sure that there's ink everywhere, in case I missed it. And give it a nice press everywhere. And lift. Okay, so making sure that that's a little bit dry before I actually put it into my punch. Now you've seen that this punch is super. It's got those two butterflies. I don't need this little butterfly right now, but I'm gonna keep that for another project in case I have something I wanna do with that tiny little butterfly. Might as well not waste the paper. All right, so punch. And now we're going to take are Stampin' Blends. So for this, I just picked the coordinating colors. So the Calypso Coral and the, um, what was it called again? Goodness gracious, uh, Pool Party. Okay, so we're gonna open it. I, for this one, I'm just using my brush tip instead of the other one. And I'm going to go in and actually, you know what? I found it easier to color the Calypso Coral first so I know where my blues go after. All right, so we're gonna take that and just color in that bigger portion right there. And then these two little guys on this side. Now, of course, when you're doing your own, you can color as much or as little as you want. But this is what I decided I wanted on mine. That, and he has to match, obviously, on both sides. We have a symmetrical a symmetrical butterfly. Now we can go back in, add a little bit of dark, maybe over here, over here, and there, and just kind of do a similar thing on the other side. Uh, let's see. Down there, add a little bit, and then we're going to go back in with our lighter color and just blend that together like that. Make sure you don't press hard on these tips because you really don't need to. It's just like a little paintbrush in a sense. And the less you press, the longer these are going to last. Now the rest of it, I actually just want to do that one in the pool party. Okay, so we're going to go here, all the way there. These are so simple. I know I have one of my addicted customer who called me the other day and she is in love with these now and has started to collect them and the best part is because we are during celebration right now she ended up getting some free stuff out of the celebration brochure so it's a good time to start collecting or getting the products that you've been waiting on because you can get some free stuff which is always nice now I forgot I wanted to do these little guys, the little dots at the end, in my darker Calypso Coral. All right, so now we're gonna go back in with our darker pool party and start adding a little bit more color. And once you have that darker color in, you can go back in with your lighter color and blend. Okay, so you can probably see I got a little messy on this one. I went outside the lines. So I'm gonna save my butterfly a little bit by adding a bit more color where the white exterior part is just to make him look a little bit more finished and this allows me to not have to start again so there's always ways around little mistakes so he's a little bit more tidied up now you can see now you can't even see the mistake that i made i'm gonna bring back in my memento ink so we can stamp his little body in there we're gonna center that right about here and now that our layer is probably dry we're going to pull this back in adhere it to the pool party the scalloped square oops there we go 
Isn't that pretty, the little scallop? I mean, I could have done another little square, an eighth of an inch bigger, and had um, like just a simple layer. So if you don't have a big shot, you can definitely do that. But if you do have your big shot, these layering squares, and we have the rectangles and ovals and circles, are fantastic for finishing off your cards. So we're gonna take that, we're going to adhere it to our background here about there and what's fun is like this this card has some quite a few steps but honestly does not take a long time to make so it's not that hard we're going to come back in with our dimensionals and now we want to add that butterfly and I find just adding those dimensionals to the back just makes that card a little something extra special we're going to take that put it in the middle and to really finish this off, we're going to pull in our rhinestone gems and just add three little gems to our cute little butterfly. All right, so we need, there you go. You're jumping on me. These are, these are my older um, style of rhinestones. I still had quite a lot. The newer ones has slightly different sizing, but they are fantastic. And just enough to add some really fun bling to our projects. So there you go, what do you think? Do you love it? I hope you do. Leave me a comment and let me know what you think. And I will see you next week on the next Stamping 411 video. Thanks for watching, bye.